You remember watching boxing on TV when you were a boy? Hey, I remember fighting. I was a bad dude when I was Oh, young. really? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I beat every girl on the block, oh, I'm telling you. Uh, look at this guy. He's crazy over oh, there, isn't hey. he? Hey, hey, pugilist. This boy's a pugilist oh, yeah. over here. There you go. So I'm saying. Yeah, that's, Man, that's the Bruce Lee. Well, yeah. I, I watched it, I like was it. intrigued by it, but I never wanted to ever get into the ring. Oh, me either. Yeah, never. I'd did. ring the bell, and that's it. I'm yeah. gone. But yeah, uh, yeah never, this, never, this never wanted to here. do it. This guy's for real. You know this Thank guy? You. Uh, just met him, Victorino Gonzalez. Victorino, yes, good to I see like you. The name. Thank you, I'm Jack. Jack yeah. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, good to see you, man. Deacon. Sweet Daddy Deacon, buddy. Glad to meet you. Me too. Sweet Deacon. Daddy. You'll never have to worry with me crawling in the ring with you. I don't care how, how much you weigh. That looked good. <laughs> that, a that's coward. a great name for a boxer. It yeah, would I be like a good name for a boxer. Daddy. Sweet Daddy Deacon. Sweet Daddy. I can see Sweet that in satin. They know they'd win as soon as they hear Sweet Daddy. What what class would you would you box? I would be probably in the uh, what lightweight? I'm 160. What was that? Lightweight? Yeah, you what both would be uh, in the ring together. <clears> well, we both are way the same. Middleweight, I believe. Right. Yeah. Wow, I'm middleweight. Yeah, I don't know. Is I got to definitely okay. got to okay. lose some yeah. boundaries. <clears throat> All right. I think Canelo's up there too, huh? Yeah. 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 You guys are strong, man. Shirts, you think? Yeah, yeah. Your shirts show it too. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you are wear you sure? one a size too small, you know? hey, if it fits. Yeah. Now, now, what weight class are you in? I'm at 126 pounds. That's featherweight. And you're undefeated so far. Yeah. Yeah, every yeah. learning experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it. Yeah. Well, Everybody. I want to learn how this yeah. all kind of happened, because I, I know you were saying before we really got started, your dad introduced you to boxing. So let's go back oh, in time. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? Wow. Grew up in New York uh, for a few years. The city? Manhattan, yes. Yeah. And uh, I just remember the TV being on, and I would see, who would I see? Nassim, Prince Nassim fighting. Mm -hmm. I'm just a kid. I see this guy getting away from punches. That was his favorite fighter. But that's where it all started. And then Bruce Lee and Pacquiao, those oh, yeah. two guys. Yeah. yeah. I really like those guys. So when he touched the nut. And yeah. <laughs> well, see, I, I was a big Sugar Ray Leonard fan. There you go. Oh, my God. Fast boy was he's quick. That's another one. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was a Pit show. Pit bull. Yeah. Now, oh, everybody man. talks about Muhammad Ali, of course. Mm -hmm. But Sugar Ray Leonard was, I mean, just so quick. Yeah, I agree. He's Are one of my fast? favorites. You pretty quick with them arms, eh? Yeah. I do my best to be as fast as him. Yeah. You know, Bruce Lee was fast too. Oh, well, oh yes. Pacquiao was fast. I seen, but uh, being a smaller guy, 126, speed is uh, speed is a strength. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, did you go to the guard? Did you go to Madison Square Garden for for, for matches? Or I have not, not okay. yet, not yet. But um, I wonder if that's possible. It might be. Oh, yeah, it's possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to look at it like that. It is possible. That, you got to get that in your brain. I'm going to the top. You're already on your way. Yes, sir. Because yes, we, know, we know Bone Crusher Smith. Yeah. Right? They grew up here in the Carolinas, and I think he wrote a book from Magnolia mm. to Madison Square Garden. He's, right. Interesting. He's, yeah. He's, a, he's an interesting cat. Mm. Yeah. Bone but, Crusher but he, Smith. Huh? Yeah, but uh, he went the distance with Mike Tyson. He was the champ, and mm. Tyson took the title from him. But right. That's he went, a tough he, fight. He went, yeah, he went the whole, the whole gamut, the whole round. Impressive. Yeah, which is Impressive. pretty cool. That's, that's incredible. Mike but, Tyson. man, boxing, mm. uh, that's, a, that's a tough nut to crack. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you really learn how to be a, a student uh, of life. For sure, and to humble yourself. You know, it takes a lot to humble yourself. How about that eye of the tiger? You ever get that eye of the tiger? That Rocky Balboa. That's a real deal. That's 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 for real. <laughs> Rocky Balboa. Yeah, man. Why'd your head move when you said that? Yeah, he see. Yeah, he's, he's always moving. He's yeah. always moving that. He's head. got it. <laughs> <laughs> he's always moving that. It's like <laughs> that little bulldog in the back of an impala. That's right. <laughs> It's yeah. crazy. Oh yeah. Well, because you weren't you you weren't a guy that just grew up on the streets. You went to private school. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I went to a school called Milton Hershey School, and uh, so you're in Pennsylvania. You're around. You're around Hershey then. Yeah, Hershey, PA. Yeah. The sweetest place on earth. It, it sure really is. <laughs> the street lights look like Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. It is. It That's is. a great town. I love that town. It's a great town to grow up in, and. Um, I'm grateful for every opportunity. The older I get, I can look back and, you know, translate it into my life now. And that helps a lot, especially discipline. 
That's a big one. Yeah, it would have to be. You live in, like, the chocolate capital of the world. Yes. You're over here mm. saying you're at 126. 126. So there's some discipline there. Yeah. Yeah, fight night, weighing about 138, 140. So it's about that time to drop that weight again so we can mm-hmm. fight on June 11th in Orlando. So that'll be a fun show. So, so that is your next your next uh, bout then? Uh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That'll be fun. Do you know the name of the fight or anything? Is there any? It's not verified yet, but soon enough my coach will lock that down. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the game has changed. I mean, diet now and, what the, and, and the conditioning and the strength and all is, has changed. I mean, you know, the guys obviously at the level back uh, when you were coming along in the 90s, the sport's changed so much it's evolved. Mm. How so? Well, I'm asking you. I would say... Uh, I mean, like diet-wise. Diet-wise? Yeah, you know, like what yeah. goes in. I mean, are you sitting there counting calories or... Well, there are a lot of guys eat? doing that. Um, I'm not a guy who eats steak before a fight. But I'll eat steak after, you know. I'll enjoy that steak. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you keep it to green juice, man. I like that green, green juice. juice. Yeah. You're scaring me, man. I don't <laughs> drink anything <laughs> green. I don't yeah. even touch a Mountain Dew. Oh, oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. There you go. Don't lay off the salt. You got to stay at 160. Yeah. So that's how you prepare, then. You drink your green juice. And, green juice in the morning. You know, yeah. I mean, how do you psych yourself out? How, how do you get ready? How do I get ready? Yeah, Let's right. see. There's a technique I use. It's called four, seven, eight. I inhale for four, hold for seven, exhale for eight. I've, I've heard, I didn't know the four, seven, eight. It was just always eight. I've it done was, that, like count to eight as you breathe in, mm-hmm. then you hold it, and mm-hmm. then you exhale. Okay. And that's supposed to be better than coffee. Yes. I feel it is. It helps me every time. And they say I was relaxed in there, you know, and I felt great. I felt at home. That's a good exercise you can do as you drive yeah. to work. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah. If you're stuck in traffic. Yeah, if you're stuck in traffic, especially nowadays. Yeah. How's that bike? Up, so four, seven, eight. Are there variations on that? Because I, I have done that before. Oh, uh, so you, uh, you like your meditations. Those are meditations. Well, I'm married. Yeah, I love any, uh, anywhere. There's quiet time. Yeah. You need that. Yeah. Yeah, you I need, need some meditation. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, there are variations, but that one right there is the most effective at, for me to uh, before a fight. Yeah, yeah. So it calms you down a little bit. It then. definitely calms me down. It keeps me focused. I believe the Navy SEALs use this technique as well. Four, seven, eight. Yes, I'm sir. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to start doing it. Hey, did you say eight seconds hold? I, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll try that too. Yeah, well, mine, I mean, don't, I, don't, don't change it. No, man. Hey, don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm a student. You didn't look the same, man. What happened? Yeah, there's this TV guy. Yeah, don't, don't. No, yeah, really <laughs> don't listen to him. You don't want to. No, no. Yeah, listen to me. Okay, I'm going to try yours. You four, got 478. Four, I do 911. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> as soon as I get ready to call the ring, I'd be calling 911. <laughs> have him ready. Uh, knock it off. He's on. great. I yeah, like no, it. No, he's not. Don't encourage him. No, yeah, please like encourage that, No, you do like not it. want to encourage that. Yeah. Over there. I want to be good. I'm going to be friends with this so, guy. So, what is in the green? You doing kelp? You doing just like talking about the juice? Yeah, the juice. Oh wow, my trainer, Coach Brian Shannon, kale, lemon, fennel, chia seeds, and some apple, some red apple. Mm-hmm. Keep it simple, and that's about it. Do that every day with the vitamins, and wow, that makes a difference. Yeah, well, I used to watch Popeye, and I thought spinach was the spinach. name. Spinach. Oh man, you yeah. see his forearms. Trying to get those forearms, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, spinach is a big part of the diet, too. You know. So that's breakfast. What, what about lunch? Lunch is uh, mostly like sweet potato, right. some chicken salad, and uh, we keep it the same. We keep it the same because it goes well. Yeah. yeah. Is, is yeah. dinner your lightest middle of the day? Dinner is uh, before cutting. I love pasta. Italian food. <laughs> I might as well be Italian. I mean, I'm representing Puerto Rico, but hey, I love my pasta. Yeah. That's well, let's right. touch on Puerto Rico, uh, and, we'll, and we'll get in, in into that because you you've done some boxing, man, mm. which is kind of neat. You grew up in Pennsylvania, or, or or is there a Puerto Rican tie in there? I grew up in Pennsylvania for the most part. Was born in New York, mm-hmm. but since I was in that private school. Most of my time was in Pennsylvania. Now, my fights overseas, I, had, I did have two fights overseas. 
and it was a great experience each time. Uh, it was not counted, however. I'm still grateful for the experience. Oh, yeah. Regardless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when you say not counted. Uh, it was not logged into box rack. Okay. Uh, my coach knows more about that. But, uh, you know, we just keep it up. We just keep going. We're getting the rounds in. We got six good rounds in two days ago. I believe it was two days ago. Yeah, so that was nice. This kid had about 250 rounds of experience. So I took all that in, which is... Wow. Yeah. So yeah, when you start getting yeah, into the rounds of experience. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Everybody wants to knock out. Everybody wants. So I'll, I'll deliver. I'll deliver. Well, so, Andrew has seen you. I want, I want yeah. to get bring Andrew yeah, into yeah. the conversation a little bit. <coughs> oh, because, do we have to? Because oh, Andrew, Andrew <laughs> is, is involved oh, in okay, boxing a little now. bit, and so that's what, that's <laughs> why yeah. you is, is he fast? Oh, he's quick, very oh, quick. Thank you. He's got quick hands. Uh, I would say, from my uh, non-professional opinion, uh, he's very calm. He doesn't. This uh, guy that. Vic fought, I think now was about in TV time two weeks ago on uh, May 15th. He was uh, quite the character. He would he was taunting him, trying to get him off his game a little bit, waving him on, but he stayed very calm, and uh, he dominated the entire fight. It, it really, uh, respect to the other guy, but it was not very close. Um, unlike the last fight that he had, in Myrtle Beach was extremely close, but he did pull out the win there. But it was a much tighter fight. But mm. I did some research, Jack, and um, Victor's next fight on June 11th, it is uh, Christy Martin Promotions Orlando Fight Night is the name of the fight. Okay. okay. There you go. Good. Orlando yeah. Fight That's the first time the guy's done any research and came up with something really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. incredible. Shout out to yeah. Andrew. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you see some of these guys at, at at the heavyweight level. I mean, they're they take a major beating. I mean, it, have you have you really had some major? Even though you you're undefeated, mm -hmm. have you had some guys get your attention and you had to deal with some pain the next day? Oh, all our all of our losses come in the gym, and uh, you never really lose if you learn. That's what I've been taught, and that's been the best, best gift. So all the losses are in the gym. Well, and plus, uh, when you get down to that ring, man, you got a bunch of You've already. people out there watching you and everything. I mean, I'm sure your nerves are just a little bit, but I'm sure once you get into the action, mm -hmm. it, it probably propels you more, doesn't it? I mean. Oh, definitely. When yeah. you hear the people. <clears throat> you want to win. Yeah, you hear yeah, the voices. Yeah, you want to win. Sometimes I don't hear the voices. Right. But sometimes right. since it's uh it's building up, the crowd numbers are building up. Um, I still hear a few familiar voices here. Nice reminders. Right. Use that jab. Use that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. For me, yeah. be get out of the ring. <laughs> get out of the ring. Leave. Stop it. Stop yeah, it. Stop it. Nine one one. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. We had golden gloves up in West Virginia when I was West a kid. Virginia. I knew all the golden glove matches. Had a lot of my buddies who participated in the golden gloves. Mm. And some of these guys, they were good street fighters. Mm. But when they got in the ring, different story. But then we had a couple of guys who were already just natural fighters. They'd get in the ring, and they were, they'd were win. They did very well. Oh, ended okay. up, uh, I think one of them ended up in the Olympics. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah. cool, man. That it's, is it's, cool. Yeah. Christy Martin is uh, from West Virginia as well. Is and that right? Anthony Sevilla, another one of my sparring partners from West Virginia, who represented well. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Put on a show. Ain't no glass jaws in West Virginia. Nope. And boys up there is mean, yes. boy. Yes, yes. Yeah. This guy. Well, speaking of representing, you're doing that with your apparel. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes. What, what, what is that yes, there on, 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 on your, oh, this on your breast a, there? This was a gift from a friend, and as it says, Endor. Uh, and he described to me it was a way of enduring life. And he described and or rise you can either give up or you can endure and rise to the occasion and that inspired me and sparked that flame you know so i'm here to represent it that's pretty cool is that on your trunks you got it on your trunks when you when you box not yet. I already say put them on your trucks, but don't look down when you're fighting to see what it says. Because yeah. yeah. he'll get you every time. Oh, 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 yeah, right. Wait. 
Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. So is this just a chapter in your life or, or, or are we going to be, uh, or, or are we going to be tasked to watch you? We got about 40 seconds. What, what should we expect? What, what's the goal in, in 2021 for you? 2021. The goal is to finish strong. I have about three more fights or two more fights, depending on my promoter. Finish strong and keep learning and improving. Um, Willie Monroe had some great things to say, and that inspired me as well. And I'll keep improving and improving. Yeah. That's all I can do. Yeah. Just That's endure, my Yeah, right. Endure. I love yes, it. Yes, sir. Good seeing you, my man. Thank You're a winner, brother. Appreciate Victorina Gonzalez. Yes, sir, my yeah. man. A name to yes, watch. Yeah. Good luck to you. World. Thank you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's my pleasure. <laughs> hey, come on back. We got more exciting River Talk in a bit. <laughs> 